It's wheel to wheel, all the way. Oh, I can't believe it. He's spun the car. Man, I'm out, guys. And look at this. Oh, he's deep. He's deep. He's in his teammate. Look at the top four on this last lap. There's one lap left of Q2. Both Red Bulls have to improve. A tenth and eleven. If he makes a mistake, he doesn't improve. Someone behind him will, and we could have Red Bulls going out in Q2. And he's oversteering into Turn 3. It doesn't look like he's got the tyres dialed in yet. That was a moment on the brink. Verstappen knows he's got to find some time here. For one of the first times all season long, he's on the back foot. Perez! Oh. Perez is spun the car! One Red Bull is struggling for time, the other one is facing in the wrong direction. For some reason, around this configuration of circuit, the all-dominant Red Bulls are looking over their shoulders. Max Verstappen comes across the line, Max Verstappen stays in 10th position, and we're looking now to who can improve. Can Liam Lawson make it through? He can! Liam Lawson knocks out Max Verstappen! I don't know if you saw that, but that was shocking. Absolutely shocking experience. The team that have won every single Grand Prix this year see both cars fall in Q2. Oh. This oh, I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Charles Leclerc has gone off the road on the formation lap. Absolutely extraordinary. No, I lost the hydraulics. I lost the hydraulics. Why the f am I so unlucky? Why the f am I so unlucky? His Grand Prix over before it had even begun. The car switched off, you can hear the engine go, so that's what's happened to Leclerc. He's lost the hydraulics, the power steering is probably gone in a high-speed corner, and he's ended up in the wall. Spat into the wall, nothing he could do. Ah, oh, heartbreak. The, the engine lets go and it just is in gear and it just immediately locks those rear tyres. Gutting for Leclerc. And now there's a gaping gap then on the front of the grid alongside Verstappen. Formula One goes racing in Sao Paulo once again. Good reaction time for Lando Norris. Big crash in the middle of the pack. Albon is into the wall along with the Haas as well. Great start from Alex Albon in the Williams. He gets alongside and then... Oh, you see, the other Haas came together. It was actually kind of squeezed his teammate there. That kind of led to the contact. So it was a bit of a three-wide situation. And that is the Williams into the barrier. And the red flag is flying at Interlagos because it's a big cleaner. Oh, got sandwiched again. Yeah, Magnus has actually collected then as Albon's already lost it. Are you out? Uh, yeah. yeah, you're out. Who, who hit me? What a dramatic opening few moments of the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. It is hammering down at Zandvoort. And off the road goes Sergio Perez in the monsoon conditions now. Surely it can't be long until we throw a safety car at this one because they'll be struggling to keep it on the road. They'll be aquaplaning off. Oh, they're snaking off the road. Joe Guan Yu has gone into the Tech Pro. His teammate has gone off and the virtual safety car is out. Man, I'm out, guys. So much water, I can't say I'm going. He slithered off the road at turn number one. Perez has come into the pits as well. Perez comes in. That will elevate Gasly to the podium and we eventually get to the red flag. But after, Perez has given up track position. Verstappen, Alonso, Gasly now on the podium. The red flag is out and we stop things on lap 64. And this is the moment that cost Perez P2. Huge spray. He's just double front locked as he's hit the brakes. That was something we saw a lot in the in the rain yesterday. And the barrier, but just the lightest of touches. It was aquaplane territory, showing that really it was uh, just undrivable. Oh, that was a big hit for Joe Guan Yu. It's almost like the runoff area. The tarmac there is almost more slick than the actual race tarmac itself. Well, disappointing. Started in the wet, it's moved to the dry. Russell went for the gamble. And look at this, a coming across the line. It's side by side, who gets it? That was super close. Ocon hangs on for seventh position. George Russell missing out. Russell lighting up that race. Good that job. is what nine thousandths of a second looks like after 24 laps. 12, Good please. job. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> that was a fun race. <laughs> oh, just missed out there. Uh, P8. Good job, bud. Picked up a point still. Bit of racing, that. Well done. Yeah, good recovery. Good decision. 
Lando Norris has one more chance to do the heroics. He's done it on the inside. He's trying it on the outside. With five seconds still to come. No way by for the British driver up against the Frenchman. We're going all the way to the line. There might be a penalty hanging over Lando Norris, but it's wheel to wheel all the way to the end. The McLaren and the Alpine. Will they have any room? Norris bails out of it. Brilliant fight between Norris and Ocon. But you've got to say well done to him for continuing to fight to the end there. Some wonderful wheel-to-wheel -wheel action and a reminder that we need to see this guy in a car at the front sooner rather than later in Formula 1. Oh, I was ahead on the apex. He would have left me no space, I would have had to go out. He fought right to the bitter end there. And the Qatar Grand Prix is go! Good reaction time for Lewis Hamilton. George Russell putting the pressure on Max Verstappen. Hamilton got the launch off the line, goes around the outside, he's in his teammate. Lewis Hamilton turns into George Russell and the Mercedes collide at the first turn. Three into one, did not go. And the wheel came off there for Lewis Hamilton. The wheels come off for Mercedes. Absolutely dramatic start. He made a great launch, didn't he? Making use of those tires. You can see George gives him a little bit of a squeeze as he picks up the slipstream from Verstappen but he is clear sight of the corner and aiming for a too early apex. That's not here, okay, mate? Yeah, I'm taking that by my own teammate. Gets a little bit of a squeeze from his teammate, but goes brave on the brakes, but just shuts the corner down. I'm sorry, he just didn't leave enough space. Russell momentarily loses a little bit of grip as well and watches wide, ah, oh, barely. I mean, it is, it is Hamilton really turning in. Come on! What the hell? Guys, come on! Stand by for the third start of the Australian Grand Prix. It's two laps to sort out who wins this one. Immediately Verstappen is chopping ahead of Lewis Hamilton, who will try and edge out Fernando Alonso. It's as you were from the top three. It's going to be close to contact, and Fernando Alonso is spun round by Carlos Sainz. Perez is off the road. It's Max Verstappen with the lead, then it's Hamilton, and there's a crash in the back of the field. Into the wall goes Gasly, and it's absolute chaos on the restart. Oh, he's deep. He's deep stroll into the corner. It's total, total chaos. Red flag again. Carnage. Absolute chaos. Sainz goes in hard. It's in fact Gasly almost rear ends Alonso. They both dragged each other in deep, and it's Sainz tips Alonso into the spin. Stupid rule! How the hell you can put the red flag before? Then the two Alpines come together on the exit of two. Big impact into the wall for the two Alpines. Very chaotic start. A lot of cars off the track. Pierre came back off the track to on the track. And, um, and left me no room and we, uh, we collided, but no hard feelings, you know, they, they, could, they could have been anyone. And the melee begins in an extraordinary restart. The charging Mercedes might be denied. Russell knows he needs to try and make the place right now. Look at the top four on this last lap, nearly glued together. Lando's still pushing for the win, oh, Russell's off. off! George Russell into the wall and out of the race! The British driver who is charging for victory is out on the last lap. Uh, no! No! Did take out quite a bite of that walker, and the wall just juts out slightly. Such frustration. When you're tucked in behind a driver as he was, you're kind of half going off the line of the car in front. Yeah, lost for words, to be honest. I think we were half the car's length away from winning the race. Whether it was a lack of concentration, frustration knowing that was our opportunity gone. You know, a mistake of one or two centimetres is just put a sort of shadow in the whole weekend. Poor George Russell. And the Mexico City Grand Prix is go! The slipstreaming that we normally see is not happening. I reckon that's the race lead in the inside line. Checo Perez trying to go around the outside. He's made contact. He's made contact with Charles Leclerc into the first corner. Perez spins round. Checo Perez with that draft tries to go three wide and redo what Max did back in 21. Late on the brakes on the outside, but it's just not enough room. He tried to force the issue a little bit, tried to squeeze Leclerc down. Based on what I've just seen there, I think Checo was trying to turn into a corner when, you know, you can't expect the Ferrari to disappear. For me, he's going to have to own that one. As a driver, you take a risk going three cars into turn one with these white cars. I took a risk. I paid a high price for it, but uh, it just happened everything a little bit too late. And uh, unfortunately, I had a lot of damage in my car.
Alonso is going to get the run down at turn number four. This is going to be super aggressive between the two of them. Alonso's fought his way back through. What a move, Fernando Alonso, on the last lap. And the crowd absolutely loved it. There's that wide line from the Aston Martin driver time and time again. He will go up through the gears. They're both planted to the floor. And you have just seen a brilliant race from the top two. But it's going to be Fernando Alonso across the line. He gets close. He just hangs on in a superb finish to the line. It was decided for third place by 53 thousandths of a second. And look what it means to Aston Martin. Fernando Alonso on the podium for the eighth time this season. Yes, unbelievable. Yeah, copy guys, this is for you guys, this is for you. That couldn't have been closer, could it? Alonso keeps it by a sniff. Drive. What a drive! In full champs, it drive.